everyone and welcome back to the Marketplace and I. This is the second video around Nikki G Conway's artworks. So hopefully you've watched the first video from Nikki which is talking about two of her poems that she submitted, Commercial Thoughts and A Woman with, a Woman with Cerebral Palsy. However today in this segment I want to talk about Nikki's wheelchair paintings and another poem called Patience which correlates with one of the wheelchair paintings. So you may remember these from the teaser video, but I want to talk about them in a bit more depth. As I said in the previous video, Nikki has atetoid cerebral palsy, which has rendered her unable to walk, talk, feed, bathe, or care for herself. In many ways, she is reliant for, for most of her basic needs and care needs on full-time carers. However, she does strive to be very independent, and she is a very beautiful artist and poet. And what she wanted to do was, as I said in the last video, she sees her electric wheelchair not as binding, but rather as enabling. It's her vehicle into the world. It gives her independence to move where she wants to move, to go where she wants to go, and to see what she wants to see. And she wanted, she's always wanted to use that as a tool to express her art, because so much of the wheelchair is part of her allows her to, to be who she is and express who she is and she wanted to show that through art. So let's go and see these wheelchair paintings and learn about them in a bit more depth. So here they are here. They are rather striking pieces of work. As you walk into the gallery I really wanted them to be free hanging because they just tend to grasp the attention and, and pull people in and the amount of people that have popped in just to see what they are because they're like, they are wonderful, and they are really vast. That's one of the things people say, they're so vast, but they need to be vast. Nikki's wheelchair is quite large, so we needed quite a lot of space to allow it to manoeuvre, um, and I think that just makes these even more powerful, the, the, the sheer size of them. So, to start with, this one here I explained in the teaser video is called Autumn. You can see that by the rich autumnal colours, the oranges, the, the reds that's going through here. However, this was meant to be a trial, but it turned out so beautifully that we decided, well, Nikki decided she wanted it exhibited. She loved, as she said, the forms and the shapes that she'd been able to make. She spent a lot of time, and I wondered what she was doing, but she would stop and sort of look down, and I realised after about five minutes that she was figuring out how to, how to make skid marks how to go back over certain lines in order to make the forms and shapes before you hear. So everything was rather purposefully done to create, to create the different shapes and forms here and to create the patterns that we see before us. That said, some of it was just a happy accident. Like, for example, here we have sort of splatter marks. That was trying out putting paint into balloons and then allowing the wheelchair to go over them, which creates lots of splatter marks and sort of fun shapes. Granted, I got more paint on me than Nikki did her wheelchair, but that's fine. <laughs> she also wanted, and you can see just very faintly here, and possibly again here, you see very, very faint paw prints. That's because she wanted her dog, Al, to move and walk through the painting. He's such an intrinsic part of her life, and she wanted him to be represented here. But as you can see, you can see quite clearly the tire tracks of her wheelchair. But you can also see the skidding effects that she's created to create these forms and shapes. So as we say, it just turned out so beautifully that Nikki wanted it to be displayed. And willingly, we were happy to do that. The second piece here is called Patience. And this was a little bit different. This was actually supposed to be a sea scene. Nikki wanted to represent her love for the sea and also just to try and help us understand actually how difficult it can be for someone who is a wheelchair user to access beaches and seas. However, um, it took a little bit of a darker turn. Whilst um, we were, or whilst Nikki was doing her wheelchair painting, we were using her public courtyard in her, in her home and neighbours kept coming up and asking if she was okay. And it turned out, although she had not been physically harmed in any way, there had been an altercation with a temporary carer who had been caring for her at that point in time. So she does have full-time carers who live with her, but at this point she had a temporary carer. It seems that she'd been calling out during the night and crying out for a carer, and the carer hadn't came, but her neighbours had heard this. 
So naturally, as her mum was there to see her wheelchair painting in action, they explained everything to her mum and were checking up to see that Nikki was okay. Her mum naturally then confronted the carer and it got Nikki really, really upset. I asked if she wanted to stop the wheelchair painting just because she was quite upset and realising that she was in quite an emotionally vulnerable situation at that point. But Nikki was adamant that she wanted to continue as for her, she wanted to be able to express her feelings, her emotions, her frustrations from that event through her artwork. But suddenly she asked for this really dark colour of black to be sort of put through the piece, as you see coming sort of through the foreground there is that black, which in many ways sort of foregrounds the, the lighter, bluer, purpley colours that she had um, originally coming through this, this artwork. Her mum and I also noticed, and many people who have come into the exhibition have asked, oh, did you trace a sort of circular wheel shape here? Did you just put the, t the, the, the wheelchair tires down, or the, the wheelchair sort of wheel down? And we didn't, her mum and I noticed this shape and asked Nikki if she had done it purposefully. And she said, actually, she's done it subconsciously. Um, it's just the way that her tires have moved around that it created an almost wagon wheel kind of effect. But based on this, she was inspired and she decided to put these two lines, you see one here and one here coming through. And so this symbolizes almost her wheelchair and trapped in the corner of this painting. She decided to call this painting Patience because it correlates and spoke to a poem that Nikki had already written and wanted to submit to this exhibition. And the poem Patience is all about her experiences with care and as a recipient of care in the UK. Again, I'm just going to drag down so that you can pause and read at your own pace. So this is patience. And I just want to read out the first and the last verse. Patience. They say that patience is a virtue. What a load of rot they spout. I have to sit in my chair and I want to pull my hair out. And I want to shout I'm trying to help you, but you don't want to hear or care. So be aware of people you care for. They may be non-verbal or slow, but they may be crying inside for someone who they can get to know, and perhaps one day even adore. I think this is a really powerful poem that just really helps to encapsulate and communicate the frustrations that Nikki feels as a recipient of care, and how she always feels that she's made to have patience and finding it difficult at times to get the attention of those who care for her. And this painting, really does correlate and the experiences that are around the painting really sort of correlate with that. When developing her narrative, Nikki was reflecting on her artworks and she said that she doesn't often reflect on how her art actually is driven by her emotions, but she could really see this powerfully through her wheelchair painting. She wonders in hindsight if she chose the oranges and reds for autumn more out of anger and frustration from her experiences the evening previous. And so that's really got her thinking about how art is her way of expressing her emotion. She says that she absolutely loved the experience of wheelchair painting and she wants to do it over again in a minute she would do it. But she said that it also unearthed the bittersweet realities of her, li of her life in a wheelchair, whereby she lives perpetually in place between the world of dependence and independence. So I hope that you've enjoyed learning a bit more about Nikki's wheelchair paintings, her experiences, and in particular her frustrations at times with the care systems in the UK. And we look forward to seeing you in the next instalment of The Marketplace and I. Thanks so much as always, guys, for your time. Take care and speak to you soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.